Hi again guys, uh, well, and this time around we are in a place called Tancuz, which is perhaps one of the oldest castles around. And uh, the, good, the good thing about it is still it's pretty much original condition without too messing about. And what I truly love is this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I have no idea why this enormous pit is for since there is no way about. Well, anyway, it's a few of them around. Well, this originally was a fortified, fortified town with a built-in uh, castle inside. I don't know if you guys can see it, I believe so. That is the exterior belt which goes around all the entire castle connecting to two main gate towers one to the right one to the left those are the main and just a little bit over there but that one is closed for some reason uh, should have been three main gates however the third one is closed i don't know i'm still in the process of finding out uh, holy shit what these pits were actually used for. This is a built-in cistern, which means fresh water uh, in case of a siege, which could have meant the, the armies sold out a lot, a lot, long, long time. As you can see another tower. We, it is possible to go around all the all the built-in uh, through all the the tower there and yeah, reaching at that gate. From that gate to the other uh, there are houses in between which means there is no possible nor viable access. Well anyways this is the main compound which is uh, very well taken care of which I like it. I like it a lot. I've been to castles which you have to pay for to gain access but uh, and even so they are in pretty bad shape. This is the way into the system. I would love to take a peek in it, but uh, it is closed. And they do not allow the access. However, I would love to take a peek in it. But uh, later on, we'll, we'll try to go around the entire exterior wall all the way to the, to the end where it's possible to go. No viable access through here. We'll just go around the other way. This this uh, this castle was had the particular luck of in 1921 being considered um, of national interest. So, which means pretty early on, the castle had its uh, luck to be to be very well preserved. I believe in 1921, still pretty early on. Considering pretty much that all the national heritage was pretty much um, not still interested in preserving these old fortresses, this pretty much began around the 1930s. There are exceptions, uh, a lot of them. As well, 1910, 1916, and 1917 are just a few of the of the earliest records of of fortification preservation. But there are very few of them. As you can see, there's a second gate. That is the third one. That for some reason is is closed. With no access. The other two are viable by car or by foot if you prefer. This is the main tower which uh, we will be going uh, going in shortly. These are the excavation area. It is not mentioned the last time they were here uh, excavating the, the dig site but uh, by the looks of it it's a couple of years. 
probably left it this way just I don't know for any reason to to mention that they were here. I don't know. Just a dead bit what remains of the outer wall through here right above the road goes around. Lovely view by the way as uh, as most of the castles of the region they are situated in a lot higher places and uh, and isolated as well because the intentions of these architects were pretty much to to make it to make the access a lot more restricted in terms of of invasions which meant there was no no way to to allow even army to to go straight towards with a lot of manpower so with means also with means straight passages and making kind of a kind of a line which make them would make them a lot easier targets for the offensive this is a bit of the oh for sure uh, even under the staircase <laughs> anyway it does seem to have a lot of um, a lot of repairs and then again as you can see over here this is one of the dates where the where the the protection legislation came in came in action which means 1940 is the date when most of them were, were started to be protected with of course a few, um, a few exceptions but 1938 has a few of them about three and the most of them about 16 or 17 castles and fortress included was war in the 1940s 1940 exactly to be, to be exact another nice we are in right in the middle of the tower on the passage still one of those towers is again that huge pit downwards i don't know maybe it would lead to the system perhaps there is no The access has no, no way to figure out because uh, without special municipal permission uh, we, we are trying to definitely to gain that access but the talks are still kind of slow and uh, there isn't much progress to be made. We've made some contacts, there are several restricted areas of several different castles we want to gain access to but uh, it's not being easy guys the municipal governments are that slow in understanding that this is it's more vital and it seems there are no steps well we may need to climb just a bit wait up i'm gonna do a indiana jones one well getting a bit fat but managed to to get the job one job done but as you can see I don't know looking at the pattern of this those are recent which meant you know probably the others two that had the same walls instead some kind of storage I don't know perhaps who knows that was probably a window or a door I don't know uh, this one definitely as well as a nexus nexus even if the door is recent I don't know it really doesn't matter you guys have a lovely view from up here. There's a first, second and third gate. All that belted area is possible to access from there to there. No longer there's access, there's houses all around. So uh, pretty much meant the, the stones removed from the, from the construction. Again, one of the biggest problems. Uh, prior to, to the 1930s. This one is in pretty much intact condition. As, I, as I've been informed, uh, what was most touched in the castle in 1940 and 1921 was exactly this tower. 
is a pretty much uh, what was rebuilt and fixed. Mainly because uh, all the castle was in touch, was very well preserved, and we still got a higher point. Let's go even higher. Let's see if we don't fall. I really wouldn't like that. I want to go back home in one piece. We are a tad higher. Couple of stranded tourists, I don't know. They seem kind of a bit lost. And from what I heard, they're from around. And I'm not. And I'm even, <laughs> even less lost than they are. Guys, beautiful view. Difficult access. These castles were definitely the jewel crown of the older region. Uh, and remember, all this region is in the interior of Portugal, next to the frontier. We are just about 20, 30 kilometers from the border to Spain, which meant a lot of Spanish guys coming in from that direction, all the way inside to the interior of the country. This was definitely the, the main the main access uh, and the principal routes to the Spanish invasions and of course you do have to remember as well that a lot of the of the French invasions a lot later on also came from Spain and again to the interior of the country passing on through this region destroying most of the castles that have survived intact uh, since the Middle Ages so guys this is all for today. This will be definitely my my last uh, last castle from today, last fortress. Pretty cool. It has definitely been retouched. Look at the base of the tower. It's some sort of moat, sort of moat. I don't know, but fantastic to look at. Really well preserved. I do like the lighting system. Maybe I'll take the fire extinguisher all my name one. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Lovely place, guys. I'm loving this. Uh, please subscribe to the channel again. Press the like button. Remember, I will chase you down if you don't press that like button or subscribe. We got a lot more castles coming up uh, over the next this next week and the next couple of months. We will even be two friends in Spain. Thank you so much, guys. See you all next time.